This is episode 61 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, October 18th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Josh, and Steve examine an American pale ale, a New England IPA, a fruited sour, and a pastry stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got uh, tech guy Steve. Hello. We got special guest host Josh. Hey guys, how you doing? We're just missing not so tech guy Charlie. <laughs> not so tech. Right. Char- yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's he basically can use a phone to text <laughs> and call. He likes yeah. No, That's- no it was uh, so here we are in our second rendition of this of uh, this run on this show. Uh, guys, so today we got uh, some some beers from from Modern Times, I think, and then uh, one collaboration uh, from uh, Modern uh, Times and Moxa. Moxa yeah. So the uh, the what's up first, Josh? Uh, we got Oneida or Onita, who however, however you want to uh, pronounce it. It's a five uh, percent session APA, IPA. Um, they actually uh, initially this used to be a seasonal release that they did. They they sold it for about three months out of the year. Kind of went away. Was my favorite back then. They brought it back recently, uh, and it's a little more crushable. It used to be about a six percenter, um, and so now it's you know now I can drink more of it. Right, comes in at five five point eight. Yeah, before the new one says five, so oh, it smells so good. Nice it, light. It, 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 this it reminds me of camping. This is a camping beer for sure. Oh, not much body to it. Clean, crisp, straightforward session. Uh, How Tower Blanc is the uh, main hop in it, but I think mm-hmm. it's got some Nelson in it as well. I see some some Cascade in there Cascade, as well. Cascade, yeah. It uh, is just oh man, just a yeah. super crushable, super yeah. drinkable, like super light. Yeah, it's um, light, clean, crisp. Not, uh, I wouldn't say it's like filtered clear, but it's sure. it's pretty clear. Good head retention on that. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty tasty. Not sweet, clean, clean, dry finish. Not over hoppy. Good. I like. I like the balance of it. It's a really good. For me, it's like one of those beers. Like, got it home from work. A little hot out. Yeah. Drink it for sure. Oh, Oneida, huh? Yeah. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty tasty. Yeah, for a pale ale. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's. I mean, in the I've. I used to stock up on it back when it was the seasonal one. Like. You know, every time I'd go down, I'd grab like two or three mm-hmm. more packs. And when they came out again, I overdid it a little bit. So, but it's, uh, I like, I, to me, it's just like, I wish there were more beers like this more consistently. I like this style mm-hmm. where it's like light, crisp, slightly hoppy, not crazy, not ABVs, 5%. You know, you can just drink until you, you want pretty much. No, it's, yeah, no, that's great. Hey, have you guys had any any decent beers this week? This week, Let's see what I had this week. Uh, oh, uh, Cosmic Pros came back out from Modern Times, which was a saison mm-hmm. mm-hmm. with grapefruit in it. Fooder, I think that's Fooder Age too. It's pretty delicious. That was yummy. Um, Steve and I went out to uh, the El Cajon uh, Oktoberfest and yep. had some some dunkles and fest beers. They were all delicious. I didn't take any notes, although yeah. every group, Steve <laughs> probably did. No, I didn't take any notes. Either. <laughs> but that was kind of fun to get some some traditional German beers on tap. Oh, it's that always you, such a good time out there. You hardly ever see them here. Yeah, but it was good. I couldn't even pronounce half the names of the breweries, but you know, Spaten was there. You know, that's that's one I can do. It's good stuff. What about you, Chris? Um, you know, the other day I, um, I had a, uh, like a cloud breaker from Horace, which mm-hmm. was a, um, uh, Pappy barrel aged, um, actually it's George T. Stag, uh, 14 months mm. bourbon barrel aged, uh, just a super clean, super, just an awesome stout, lots of barrel character, character. um, that was great. Just yeah. a little stout. It's almost getting to the point where I can drink a, a stout after work, you know, it's <laughs> starting, starting to cool off. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it definitely getting to be that weather. It's like even right now, I'm going like, hmm, we are doing a stout later. That's good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's starting. Yeah, it's starting to cool off. So I'm looking forward to those days. But um, that's a phenomenal beer. Um, I've been trying to uh, 
trying to get trying to get to the uh, bottom of making it. You know, trying to get to the bottom of my fridge. The back of the closet. That's, There's that, that, I, I even got that now. Yeah, I'm like I'm almost into one fridge. So yeah, good. That's good. Improvement. Yep. Moving in the right direction. Yeah, I I, I promised myself I wasn't gonna buy stouts unless I drank stouts. So I I have to like I can only buy as many bottles as I drink i can't get more than mm. what i have now there's no yeah, place i need I to, have no place for them so i need to pump the brakes either drink more or buy less so mm-hmm. how about you see i'm gonna go with uh, a couple of beers that we had at catch brewing down in um, shelter island so oh that's a really cool yeah, establishment yeah, it's huh? really the food was phenomenal too dr bill ham's magic it was a pilsner yeah. and then um christy and i split uh, two of the AZ, uh, Celestial Navigation IPA and the Solar Navigation IPA. Nice. Both really, really good. So. That, aren't they Brigantine? Is, yeah. Ain't they're uh-huh. owned by Brigantine? Uh-huh. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. Them, them and Miguel's. So them, it's a three, okay. three restaurant chain. Okay. okay. And they're on the brewery, mm-hmm. too, which is awesome. It's because it's local. It's like a... Right. It's the Brigantine's been <clears> San Diego <throat> since I can remember. Right. So. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Glad I uh, Actually, glad I showed up tonight. A nice a, a nice little a... place like to get all three of them yeah. is down on Harbor Drive. They have the Catch Brewery. They have Miguel's, and they have a Brigantine, uh, like a really nice Brigantine that overlooks the harbor right by yeah. the Star of India. Oh, they it's took, over, right. they took yeah. over that one. That, the, the Anthony's yeah, is yeah, gone, yeah, yeah. and they rebuilt the whole thing, and Catch is in there. Mm-hmm. And I think originally Stone was supposed to go into the brewery location, but yeah. Brigantine figured out how to like, mm-hmm. hey, we'll just take the whole thing and. Do it all, so yeah, huh? It's uh, it's a pretty nice place. Yep, this one, the one that yeah, you yeah, just like that, that is a really yeah, cool yeah, establishment, yeah, yeah. and it's really right next to Epic, too. So, right, yeah, yeah, you can get some good beers <laughs> down there. Yeah, that <laughs> was oh, awesome. Yeah, that's what we did. We went to um, uh, we started at um, what's the the fish or the uh, little fish place right around the corner on the pier, fish tacos. Um, I'll think of it here in just a second. It's just so. Hit the fish taco place, hit Epic, eat your fish tacos, uh, you know, add Epic, and then walk right. around the corner to catch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, uh, can't sure. believe I can't remember the name of it. That's okay. It'll come to you as soon as we stop. Exactly. There's Point Loma Seafood, but that's probably not really It's right. right down past Point Loma Seafood. Uh, yeah, as it is. Ready for the next one? Let's go to the next one. Mitch's. Mitch's seafood. Have you ever eaten that? Mitch's, no. Oh, my. You guys are missing out. Uh-huh. Sam, that place is that place is. Oh, that was what Charlie was talking about, huh? Yep. It's right around, right right past that point when we see okay. better tacos. All right. What do you got there? Spectral tr- Trellis. Pretty cool can, actually. like it, but it's a El Dorado Fresh Hop IPA, Modern Times, and it's a collaboration with uh, Loza Farms. So it's, uh, I think it, it went straight from the farm to the brew pot, you know, kind of yeah. thing. So um, pretty. This is, uh, I'm not going to lie, I've had this one before. Mm-hmm. And I'll have it again. That's how I feel about it. I'm a fan of those fresh hop IPAs. Yeah, I am too. I I love it because you get that resiny sweetness out of them. They're pretty, pretty awesome. So this one. So pork's pretty uh, hazy. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a hazy. Yeah, so it's certainly a hazy IPA yeah. at New England. So, it certainly yeah. tastes that like grassy, like mm-hmm. like the fresh hops. Yep. It's pretty light. Yeah. Seven uh, seven point two, you know, it's a little high in the ABV, but it's not crazy. Right. I I just love it. It's I've been drinking it. No, that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty tasty. A little sweetness. It, you definitely get that grassy lemony. Yeah. Yep. Lemongrass. Kind yeah, of that's yeah, that, that's really um, good. But it's uh, I'm a big fan. It's a pretty cool beer. Not overly uh, hazy either. It's not a chewing hazy. Oh. No, that's uh, I could definitely do another one of those. Yeah. It's, um, it's got a little sweetness from the, the wet hop. That's why I was kind of, it's kind of like a feature of the wet hop IPAs. You get a little more of the sweetness because you get yeah. more of the resin. It's not dried out at all. Um, but this, I, I really like this one. It's, uh, it's got a little bit bitterness to the end, a little bit yeah. of West Coasty IPA bitterness, but it's not, it's not like, you know, punch in your face, I, you know, IBU kind of bitterness but it's it's good i mm-hmm. i really it's a it's a fun beer to have you know they're they're hard to get you, mm-hmm. they're very seasonal okay. not, not hard to get in terms of like they're oh. hard to get like this year like right. you're gonna get a small window to get them yeah, you can't yeah. 
you're not going to pull up in January or February and be like, mm-hmm. hey, I want a fresh, <laughs> yeah, fresh hop hot. IPA, you know. You're going to definitely be getting this during the harvest season. Um, and I think this is the first one that they brought out. I've had other fresh hop IPAs mm-hmm. from other breweries, but I'm pretty sure this is the first one modern times yeah. has done I think, that I can I remember. I think Stone's doing one right now. Are they? Yeah, yeah I brought that one. Um, I brought a couple of beers down from Vancouver. Uh, one of them was a fresh hop IPA. That was uh, I was pretty excited. To... Yeah, we're reading here about this little Lowe's of Farms right up there uh, um, up in Washington. Yakima County, Washington. Yeah, so that'd be my guess. They bo- yeah, brewed it in Portland. Mm. So basically, you know, went, harvested, and then uh, brought it down to Portland. They, I do like it when they do their hazies out of Portland. Mm. Um, the water profile is better for a hazy. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah, it just this the water softer, and so it just it lends itself to that pillowy flavor that kind of just or the feel the mouthful, mm-hmm. um, which our water lends itself to a West Coast IPA. Like it's like perfect for a West Coast IPA. Yeah. So, but it's yeah, that's pretty tasty stuff. No, that's really good. Yeah, I was bummed out. I was you know I was recently in Portland, didn't get the opportunity. They that I think that. Um, I think the modern times there is closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah, they're very limited on their hours. Mm, right. They, and even uh, they, well, you know, they've they've more than most breweries because of the size of them and how many locations they have have felt the burden, the burden of COVID and and having to cut back on employees and they've had their you know the issues mm-hmm. that everybody's had. Um, they've had some changes in leadership and things like that and you know it's you know it is what it is but you know they're still making good beer they're you know it's they're they're a lot of their shops are limited hours i remember like guys <laughs> it happened to be even point loma at one time was closing at monday and i just was in the area it's like oh i'll just go have a beer and like mm-hmm. oh you guys are <laughs> closed okay <laughs> you know so but yeah it's I love it. Yeah, but Portland is, yeah, they get their closed Monday, Tuesdays. But it's funny because a lot of breweries that do that. Mm-hmm. Like it's just most, you know, most of the bigger ones haven't, but um, they've kind of had to do it. I think it's mostly because you can just work your staff five days and you're good. Right. So. Yeah. Well, working every day is not, yep. not as enjoyable. Mm-mm. Yeah, I really like that. that. Yeah, that's tasty though. I like that beer. I definitely go around... Uh, with that guy again. I think that's my last one too. So, you know, it was the Loza hop farm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they had a just, you know, definitely it's still there available. I was just there. I swung by on Wednesday mm-hmm. and they, uh, they still had some in stock, both of those. So yeah, definitely beer. You can still get on the shelf. I haven't been down there in, uh, in quite some time to modern times. The years, uh, Years coming to an end. Actually, I was down. I was recently down a couple. I was at the the Flavor Dome or whatever mm-hmm. with the. I used the mug again. The mug, yeah. The mug. Did they ever get back to you on our mug? No, they didn't get back to you, did they? No. They were supposed to. No, I just I just go and use the one. Yeah, it's only ran into an issue one time when, when we were there together. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I I thought I'd just tell them a different number. I'm, I'm eighty two. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, 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 they're not looking. No. Yeah. You know? No. But the, so we went down there together <laughs> and we had both, like, so Josh bought two mugs. He uh-huh. bought me a mug, he bought himself a mug. Had the receipt that showed that they paid him, they gave us one mug. Yeah. So, they which was fine when, like, yeah. you know, I went down there, I went down there four or five times and used my mug. Yeah, same here, number but thir- we were never. Number 37. But we were you know? never there together. Josh went down numbers, you know, and used his mug, number, number 37. 37. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're. We went down there to have a beer together, and like I think, and yeah, I think like, like, no, no, your buddy one. has it. I was like, I must be thirty-eight then. Yeah, and he's like, no, somebody no, else somebody is thirty-eight. Else. Yeah. <laughs> I got an email apologizing, mm. but yeah. no resolution. So, yeah. uh, you know, that yeah, is what it is. Yeah, they had extras. They just they took care of us. They didn't not. Yeah, no, away. yeah, you know, they were like, yeah, whatever, man. Oh, and the, the bartenders at North Park kind of. You know, know me by face because yeah. it's interesting. That a lot of the guys that I knew a long time ago at Loma Land are now working in North Park. Oh yeah. And I don't know I don't know what the dynamics of that is or whatnot, yeah. but the he, he's running it. So I go down there and he's like, Oh hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they were really nice to me because 
I went to uh, Loma Land. They didn't have the Barnaby yeah. Golden Lager. Yeah. And so I called North Park to see if they had it. And, it, you know, who calls to see if somebody has beer? <laughs> right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a degenerate. But um, anyway, so I called them. So I show up, and they did me a solid. He, I ordered a beer because I'm you know, like, I'm here. They right. had something on tap. I, he's like, yeah, you had to drive over here to get it. You can... It's on us, so they were totally cool with that. So. Oh, yeah. It was, you know, whatever. Sold. What you got uh, next, Josh? I'm not going to say this one right, but I think it's spectral, spectral, spectralia. Yeah, spectral. Spectralia. Spectralia. Yeah. spectralia. Yeah. Okay, so this is a, a this is a, definitely one I do like. I've had it before. Um, it's a red sour, which are kind of hard to find. Mm. A lot of, most sours are blonde. Um, and so it's a red sour and it's oaked barrel, but it's also got apricots in it, mm. which to me is one of my uh, favorite stone fruits in a sour. Yeah. So the write up on this says, uh, they started this dark sour with a Flanders style red base beer. They aged it for four months in heavy, uh, uh, heavy toast American oak voters, uh, which we then blended with batch 1500. Uh, oh. Super tasty farmhouse ale aged in red wine yeah. barrels for a whopping forty months. So it, that's funny. Barrel fifteen hundred is a was a uh, uh, Loma Land, but it was um, I don't think it was open fermented. But they did a uh, a traditional sour fermentation. They didn't like do a controlled fermentation on it. Mm -hmm. So it was the it was like the base was Loma Land, but they did a sour yeast. Okay. And that was the 1500 batch yeah, it's the of, 15th of their batch. At, yeah, their Loma first Land. batch was uh, Loma Land. And then, okay. this is, it's a long story short, but their first batch was Loma Land. That's the first beer they ever made. And then they would just go went through and they batch 100 just happened to be Loma Land. Yeah. So then they lined it up for like batch 500 was Loma right. Land and batch 1000 was Loma Land. And so then batch 1500 is like, okay, we can't just keep making, you know, like they would do like, they start, at, I think at a thousand is when they started doing like variations of Loma Land. And so yeah. batch 1500 was a Loma Land variation. And it was, it was, dude, it was awesome. This um, is really yeah, tasty. Yeah, it's, uh, this is going to be good. I mean, the, 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 the first line of their um, untapped write up says, uh, now boarding the 10 a.m. train to Funky Town. Oh man, and that is that like, is oh phenomenal. Wow, that is funky. goose bumpy. Ooh, yeah, funky. Whoo! Oh, we took a tasty. turn. We took we took the train to Funk Town. It does not have that smell, of Funk though. No, no, yeah, it's really it kind doesn't. Of but it's tart. The jowls just like I'm salivating. It's very good. Oh mm. man, yeah. Oh, what a smooth. Why did I share this tart. with you people? Yeah. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's a phenomenal beer. You, yeah, you can come over anytime, Josh. <laughs> the. Uh, and those those apricots, man. That's uh, yep. That's something else. That stone fruit, oh, buns. That's man. Really that is really good. There's so much flavor in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's really that's sweet, good. sour, tart. Yeah, stone fruity. So the um, so this week Charlie's at the uh, yeah. the Las Vegas Beer Festival. Mm. I think uh, um, downtown. I, I I haven't heard uh, if there was. Charlie found a beer festival to go to. He did. That's kind of a weird, I weird thing. Never to do. thought he would go do that. Why would he do that? Mm. Yeah, they. Uh, so he's yeah he's unable to. So I thank you for, for oh, showing yeah, up here. No problem. Mm. And bringing and bringing the beers. Yeah. Josh brought the first uh, the first three beers that we uh, wow. partook in here. All delicious ones. And I'm gonna yeah. pour more of that sour because it's yeah still in no, there that's... And I don't want to share it. That's just that's just how I feel right now. <laughs> I'll take another yeah, little. Well, yeah. Little that's good. That's. And Charlie's not here to you know take the bottom yeah. of the barrel with all the extra curmudgeon in it. Shrimmugging. Oh that's man, that is. Yeah, it's tasty. It's like we had a uh, tart yeah. as heck. Was it last what? week that we had? Uh, we had something funky last week. We had a Wait, it was of, all sours. It was all sours. Yeah, yeah. for two, you know, a couple of uh, smoothie style sours. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And one of them. One did. of them wasn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they uh I almost brought that was the other my other option was to bring one of their uh Nectar Nomicons, which is their Oh yeah. Their, you know, I'll say cuz I think the style originated with 450 North, but it's their variation of a 450 North beer. Well, yeah, the slushy style yeah. or whatever, yeah. smoothie style uh yeah. sour, right? And they they've been good. They've been good. I yeah. like them. There's there's nothing bad about them. 
But, oh, man, I, I wonder if they still have some of this. Cause I, That's a really tasty beer, but so I am, I'm on this, uh, this whole no-buy uh, thing, which... <clears throat> we got um drink what you have until you I got to you know I just got to like I got to um cut down on uh on how many bottles I have um just cuz well then cuz I'm at a point now where um so I haven't been buying beer in in a little while and I I say By the way, I got some I, beer for you in my yeah, trunk. I, know, I, say <laughs> I say that and I actually have, I haven't been buying like I normally do. Um but the uh like I've been holding off. I want to get some crispy boys. But I, what will end up happening is these light beers show up in my refrigerator, and they're gone, right? And then I look in there, and all I have is, like, barley wines and stouts. And you're missing and the light sours. beers. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, well, I got to get it to a point where I have, like, I want to have, you know, like, 10 good bottles of stouts, but I don't want to have, like, 50. 110 good bottles of stouts. Or maybe that, maybe I don't have that many, yeah. but I have more than I, I need. Did, I didn't count. I was I was actually like kind of like going through my stash and like okay, this is stuff, some stuff I've had for a couple of years and I'm like, I, I if I'm not drinking these I gotta like gotta get it, gotta, I gotta, gotta take them places term, yeah. and like right. like we're gonna drink them and so I was kind of going through and I was like oh, I have, I have two I think one of us one of them we bought together I have two 1.5 milliliter stouts mm-hmm. Those stouts are, that's yeah. a lot of beer I that's need like a lot I need beer. like seven. Team no, you do. People, yeah. we. Uh, I was with a group of three guys. <laughs> the one Christmas night. party is happening this year. You know that's yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a, have to, maybe I was, I'll have to yeah, I was actually those. just thinking about my stout. We should do like a stout little a stout stand or whatever. I'll bring stout for like stout fest. Just have like a bunch of different. Well, Charlie we has a stout fest here. Uh, yeah, Charlie has a bunch of couches and places to sleep in his backyard. <laughs> yeah, no, like Steve has a giant party with yeah. a bunch of people that can That'd be drink great. these stouts. Yep. That put a giant in. What's that? They'll, it would yeah, be exactly. a very, very um, interesting. I have to get some like little taster glasses. Would they you do know, like my... little like yeah. plastic? Yeah. Um, like like that people can just like throw away or whatever. Glass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. You know, like, maybe not a little bigger than that, but you know, like shot the, the short. Like, they, make, yeah. they make the red solo cup shot glasses. Yeah, just like the clear short. Yeah. 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 That'd be. A, uh, we should look at that. Yeah, I still so remember I the first time I gave my father-in-law a sour. He did not like it. Yeah. But his his. His solution was to pour it down the drain instantly. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, whoa, you don't have to like it. And don't pour it down my drain. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, I have a cup too. You could just dump it into my cup. I'll drink it, you know? So, yeah. And that was a mild sour. It was a, it was like a blended sour with yeah. uh, Saison. It was just like, right. like a totally like approachable sour. And he was just like, nope done yeah no so yeah some people like the uh, i'm trying to think the first sour beer that i i think the first sour i had ordered a friend of mine um oh so we went to um pizza port in uh um the one north of uh oceanside what's up in um wherever it is the one in orange county um we were at this meeting in laguna beach we, we shot over there and he had ordered a sour and i ordered like like oh you have a ten percent IPA, perfect. I'll take that triple, right? They both show up in the same glass, right? Because oh, they're yeah. both like, yeah. So like, <laughs> they get them mixed up, and I take it. I take a drink of it, and I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I was like Choking. expecting it to be like, you know, hoppy, hoppy malty, you know, like not like, hey, you got to change your lines over there, buddy. You know, like, oh, what's going on my, here? My, my first, like, you got my beer. My first experience was I had just driven to uh, Utah and was listening to, funny that we're doing one now, but I was listening to uh, Beer bod, uh, Podcast, or beer, beer Podcast on the way. Because it was like middle of nowhere. I didn't want radio. I was kind of not ready for music. And it, uh, they were, they were interviewing Libertine. Yeah. And I, I, I probably had a sour or two before then, but I don't remember. Like it was nothing memorable, memorable. And so it, we just happened to be going through San Luis Obispo on our next Christmas, our next summer vacation. We were driving mm-hmm. right through there and we were staying there and, uh, we, uh, show up and I, it was like, it was almost like this, like, epiphany of like i love i love sour like we were, yeah I, w- I was going like i want tasters of this this and this and like we were just going through the gamut of their their sours yeah and uh and this was before they even opened up the restaurant it was just a little tap room uh-huh. 
and uh, <clears throat> it was great. I was, I think I, I bought like four or five bottles with, to, you know, took them back with me and kind of always have loved the sour beers. Man, that place then. is phenomenal mm-hmm. too. <laughs> it is. It's especially now at the restaurant. Um, it's, man, it is, it's super family friendly too. Like they have tater tots, like <laughs> loaded tater tots. My kids are just like, are we going to go to Liberty? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yes, we are. You can have tater tots. Yeah, no, I honey, I don't want, I don't want to go. It's the <laughs> kids, kids that want to go. go. <laughs> I was hoping we could just drive through and go straight home. <laughs> you know? So it's a, it's a, it's a good stop midway through the coast oh, of California. Yeah, for sure. That's a boring drive. It is, well, it's beautiful. If you're sure. on the coast. Yeah, right. Right. Sure. Don't break your phone with that. Not today. Not today. That's so what you got there. So this right here is a g- grasp of uh, noir, I believe. Uh, the it's a it's a collaboration between um, Modern Times, uh, Moxa, uh, and Modern Times. It's the third um, uh, the third in this collaboration series between the two of them. Uh, between Modern Times and Moxa. Um, they asked them what their favorite treatments they have done to their stouts, and they responded, uh, this is Moxa asking Modern Times what they had done. Uh, and um, they had said their NOLA treatment to the base of Cafe Noir, or the New Orleans-style coffee. Uh, so in this beer, they roasted mm-hmm. uh, local almonds, uh, toasted chicory root, Mexican vanilla beans, and Honduran coffee beans uh, roasted by Modern uh, Times. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh my favorite type of coffee is Norm style coffee. There you go. Mm-hmm. Dude, I love a chicory coffee. And I know some people there there I, I get it. There's people that are like, that's not coffee, or you know, it's just in a different oh is that purple? That's probably just the Okay. Um this is mm. the glasses are cold. Okay. That doesn't that look like it's got it does a, look purple a purple line to it? I, I, to maybe it. it's the label that's making me think it's sure. purple because the Cause purple it's label. Is there's no label, right? There is no label. Like, yeah. just smells like super chocolatey, yeah. really rich. Mm. Yay. So excited. Big fan of the old stouts. I love uh, Moxa and what those guys are doing up there. Yeah. I That's Sacramento. I love the... That's close enough for me. So, they... they um, abnormal, right? Is that where he was before? He was, yeah. So, yeah, um, originally... Uh, Derek was at uh, abnormal. That's nap time. They uh, one of the I, did you carnival of caffeination years ago? Moxo did the uh, did the uh, espresso beer with the cream. Yeah, they and had the, the floats. And they, they, or yeah, and they uh, they sprinkled Ooh. the top with the uh, espresso powder. Yeah, that was so good. Yeah, that was unbelievable. I, I got in line three times. Yeah. No, it was it was so good. Yeah, what whatever beer they did, it must have been remember. Moxa. Or it was a, it was a Mostra, stout. It was either it might it might have been Mostra, Mostra five or something, yeah. Mostra four or whatever. Yeah, something like that. You know, I think now is their fifth. Okay, right? so it would have been whatever Mostra it was, three it was like or whatever. Two or three years ago, it might have been one or two actually. Yeah, yeah, that oh. was. Uh, Dude, that is so good. That's almost hard to believe. It's beer. It's no, that's so really really tasty. Yeah, it's super chocolatey, super risk rich nutty yep. um but gosh that's like phenomenal the chicory does come through that little uh spiciness to it it's like it's got a subtle spiciness to it yeah that's how you know but it's man that's really that's really pretty good. tasty so is that what a, a nola uh style mm-hmm. cof- coffee is yeah chicory <laughs> in it um they sell it uh uh cafe de mon mm-hmm. is like yeah, the, yeah, the main. quintessential New Orleans saw coffee, and they actually sell. You can get it in cans with the yeah. chicory in it. Um, but there, when you have it there, it's just I don't know. It's it's just something different. You get some beignets, a little no style coffee, and it's two o'clock in the morning, and you're drinking beignets and coffee, and you still go to sleep. I don't know how that works, but it's uh, it's made pretty there anyway. delicious. Hot water, cold brew coffee, uh-huh. chicory, chicory. Yeah, it's a chicory root. They grind it up, put it in there with the coffee. That's tasty. I'm I'm a uh, I'm a oh, fan of that. Mrs. Tech guys coming to get some of that. <laughs> she knows what's up. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Super yummy. That's that was tasty. That was Thanks really, for bringing really that one. Yeah. Holy cow. 
Yeah, well, no, but we, we were debating whether to have this one or not. Right. Yeah, I was like, do we do we throw this one down or do we keep you know keep it just straight with modern? You mm. know, I felt like I brought it thinking like, hey, we're gonna do all modern times beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do and, like that. And those brains together. Oh, it's, a, it's a collab. It's, sure, it's modern times. But it's a collab. The um, yeah, you know, I I was I think we t I talked about that. I haven't talked to you in a minute, Steve, but we had the opportunity um to pop a few bottles. Me and Charlie went to Moxa oh, last okay. week. Um, nice. The week before last, I guess, but we uh, um, we got to taste a few beers with uh, uh, with one of the owners, um, which was was really cool. We actually popped. Uh, um, he he put up. They had just did a vanilla beer with um, Toppling Goliath. Oh, nice! Um, so we tasted that next to um, uh, to Ultra okay. Vanilla. Okay. So it was like Toppling yeah. Goliath and their vanilla against yeah, like modern, vanilla. right? Yeah. Which was, it was last year's. Oh, vanilla. so not so the it was like it okay. wasn't fresh. Okay, you know, so like, but you, you definitely tasted a little bit of the age. Um, you know, on the the vanilla wasn't as sharp. Right. But the uh, um, it was it was cool. The vanilla will fall out. Yeah, for sure. I would have liked to taste it those beers. You know, it's the, it's the why it's the hardest thing to stock up on like anything with vanilla and like oh I'm gonna save this for later. Right. Because it won't. It won't be the same. Eventually, it will change. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm glad that... Uh, um, but this is good. Maybe that's why that one um, beer we had last week with vanilla didn't taste as good as we thought it was going to. The, um, the sour? Could have been. The yeah, it wasn't. The yeah, there wasn't. One, the one, it said, you know, it had vanilla in it or whatever. And we kept on. Yeah, I've always... There, there's That is true. The one vanilla sour, and I've had it uh, over a period of time, is a cherry vanilla sour, um, which is great. I think I had, we popped a bottle um, at Charlie's daughter's wedding, uh -huh. like a month after we it was made. And then uh, a couple years later, or maybe a year later, we popped the same beer yeah. in a bottle. And uh, the the vanilla was almost gone. Like it was, it, it was there, but it wasn't. Sure. Mm. It was more cherry sour, yeah. you know. So well, now that it's warmed up a little bit, and then my it, glass is not so cold, it's it's even better. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm a fan of like the wow. um when a stout is just done right, like you, it just can't be like it's just my yeah. favorite style of beer. Yeah, it is. There's, I, it, I'm I'm excited about this winter because I do have this stockpile of stouts, and I will probably be drinking them way more often. Yeah, I've got to uh, just um, start digging into them. Yep. You know, maybe that'll be my uh, New Year's uh, yeah. pre New Year's resolution. My pre New Year's yeah. resolution is be done with. Yeah, all get, these get, beers. Get through all the beers before January one. You guys can come see me in the hospital. <laughs> well, it's funny. I always take them on vacation with me. Mm. I'll take a couple of bottles, and I'm just, but it gets to the point. It's like I'm sitting there by myself. I'm like, I'm not gonna pound this. 14% 22 <laughs> bottle right tonight yeah it's it's rough. that's why these smaller bottles is great I, they are that's yeah. that's been my thing like if you give me 12 ounces i could do 12 ounces yeah i, I make that work like uh and i'll start early finish late but i'll make that work but the 22 ounce bottles are man you have to have somebody you gotta yeah you gotta have like you know and to really like to enjoy you know a few beers like you gotta have like yeah. you gotta have like five or six you know five or six guys to be able like have a beer, like have an IPA. Yeah. And I'm going to have you know. this one. Right. And then, you know, just have like tasters yeah. or whatever. I did do There's that during many. COVID. I'm not going to lie. There's times where it turned into 12 o'clock and I was like, mm, yeah, I'm just going to drink this stout all afternoon. You know, just open it, pour it four or five ounces at a time at the most, sip on it, let it warm up, gets better in taste. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, so there it is, guys. We, um, we ran at, uh, um, it's Modern Times beers. Yep. First beer we did was the Pale Ale uh, Oneida. Uh, we followed that with the uh, the Fresh Hopped IPA, the Spectral Trellis. Uh, then we did the um, the Spectralia, Spectralia, yep. um, followed by the uh, Grasp of Noir. Which yes. uh, which of those do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys prefer? Well, you put a stout <laughs> up against four, three other beers. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not fair. Yeah. You know, I, I really like the stout was, you know, hands it's down. Really that was, good. Yeah. But I but I'd I'd say that right behind that was that uh, that sour. Yeah. yeah. I went into it just thinking, I haven't really been thinking sour you know, like I I mean I I love them, right? Like but the uh um that was the best sour I've had in, in a minute. It's 
It's been yeah. a little while, I think, since I've had one that I was really like. That was, I, I do. Um, it's my favorite style of sour. I do like the red sours. Yeah. I think a couple days ago, Charlie and I popped a red, uh, red flander with guava. Yeah. It's pretty tasty, too. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that was kind of like, oh, yeah, I remember this. It's like riding a bike, you know? Like, yeah. I love this. Love me some of this. So I I did like that. This this stout obviously was if yeah. if I was gonna rate these beers, I, they're all good. Um, they all serve their purpose too. You know, if I'm a session, I'm gonna drink the Oneida. You know, if I'm just wanting to drink a beer, but if I'm wanting to like, in terms of flavor, the the stout obviously had yeah, the best stout flavor. Crushed it. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. I'm right there, but no, I do think like each one of them was, you know, kind of depending on what you're for what looking they, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, I, I would agree. Yeah, they all f- they all fit their f- profile of what they should provide for so. sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's awesome, right. Josh. Thanks for bringing those yep. beers. And uh, there's another episode. We'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. 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 Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.